I did a little thrifting while I was at my sister's house over a few of the days associated with Christmas um, in Virginia Beach. And I usually put out videos every Saturday and Wednesday and I don't have one ready for tomorrow. Today is Tuesday, December 27th. So I just got back in from out of town and we're doing, going to do a quick thrift haul. So come on, gra grab a drink, come on back. It's not gonna be long, it's just 14 things and I'll see you in a few. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here. Um, as you heard in the intro, I did do a little bit of thrifting uh, the day after Christmas, which would have been yesterday. Is yesterday Monday? Guys, hey, let me tell you what teacher status is. When you don't have school, you don't even know what day it is. So I think yesterday was Monday. And um, I did go thrifting with my good reseller friend, Brighton, over at Brighton Your Day. That's his YouTube channel. That's him on all socials. Um, that's his whatnot, everything. And Brighton is a wonderful, wonderful friend to have. Let me just tell you that. So um, once you've made a friend in Brighton, you got a good friend. So if you're not following him, if you haven't seen his videos, I'm going to link his channel in my description so that you guys can go check him out and just get, get your day brightened by watching Brighton. But anyway, um, we did go to the bins and we also went to a DAV, the Disabled American Veterans Thrift Store. I just want to put out a quick video for Wednesday. I do not want, um, I'm not going to do the long bins haul. Um, so today I'm just going to show you guys what I got at the regular thrift. I will be making a video for my bins haul. But let's take a look at what I got at the regular thrift. I spent $63.53 at the regular thrift, and I got 14 things. Some of them might be for me. It's going to be a weighing, trying it on, does it fit, versus what does it sell for kind of thing, do I really need it kind of thing. All right, so I'm kind of, I'll be weighing a couple things out, and... Uh, you know, I don't know if I'll if I'll be able to let you guys know for sure when I'm doing editing for this video because I may not know yet. It just depends on how much energy I have for trying things on. Um, I'm going to save those to do as a group. All right. So let's go first up with what I got. Oh, first time finding this brand. Let me see. Am I holding it right? I don't know. That looks like the butt. This looks like the front. I don't know what's the front and the back. But it is a pair of leggings. So, and they're color block. We see the gray. We see the blue. And then the black. Um, this looks like the front of them. However, here's a little, here's a little hidden pocket right here in the waistband. I don't... Does it have hip pockets? No, it doesn't. Um, these are... Outdoor Voices. I've never found Outdoor Voices, but I've heard great things about Outdoor Voices. I want to say from Courtney over at Common Tags. I want to say that's where I've heard about Outdoor Voices. And a, maybe, maybe Kay at Passports and Pizza Pies. Anyway, they are an extra large and they were $4.98. So, Outdoor Voices, um, Extra large. Where did they find extra large? Oh, right there. Oh, so it's got a label in the front and the back. And then there's the size. That's cool. All right. So, yeah, I was excited to find full-length leggings and a good brand. Okay. Um, I, like I said, it's not a lot. I don't find a lot. Um, most of the time, I will always pick this brand up is torrid it's a two um like 2x and it's just a floral top so with like a little almost like a longer peplum hem or ruffle hem um and it buttons it buttons all the way down this cute little floral so it was 4.98 um i don't 
always suggest paying that much for Torrid because this is going to sell maybe, maybe $18, maybe $15. So this is going to put me right on that, that threshold of three times what I pay for it. But I do like carrying Torrid. I would prefer to find it at the bins, okay? Um, don't, you know, a lot of people might say, I don't ever pay up, up for Torrid. $4.98 is going to be my limit unless it is a truly substantial piece. Um, all right. I dug into the jewelry counter and got some jewelry on sale, some absolutely beautiful jewelry on sale. Um, let's look at these butterflies. These are beautiful, these enamel. Let's hide my face. Enamel butterflies. And you can see, maybe you were able to see that they were marked down to $2.99. And did I check and find out they were sterling? I cannot remember. They're not signed. I do not see, I do not see a maker on them. But they're butterflies with little marcasites all around them. Um, that enamel coating. And I just thought that they were gorgeous. So, there we go, $2.98. All right, let's see what else we got in the jewelry department. These are sterling. Um, they were marked down to $4.98, these sterling silver crosses. So I thought they were gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. I do not see a maker's mark on them right away. I can take my loop to it later and see if I can find one. Um, but yes, sterling crosses. So anything sterling I can usually sell for over $15. So I was okay paying $5 for sterling. Oh, these, these earrings are magnificent. These are um, what I call lever back earrings. That's cloisonne and it's like a, almost like a peacock. I just thought that was absolutely stunning. So they, um, they pull one off the card for you. So they are a lever back where you poke it in and then boom, that thing shuts on you. Uh, I didn't, you know what? I didn't look for a, I didn't look for a mark. I didn't look to see if they were signed by anybody. Again, I will take my jewelry loop and see later on. I was just absolutely in love with those. I, they're just gorgeous. These probably more than likely are vintage and I just, I wasn't about to leave those behind for $2.98. Nope, no way, no way those back on all right they are gorgeous they will sell um these these will sell and i wasn't about to leave them in back for a dollar 98 so they're like enamel hummingbirds with flowers i thought they were absolutely gorgeous um i haven't again haven't looked for any maker's marks. Some of these, I'll probably try Google Lens if I can't find a name on them. This might have a name on it somewhere. I would just have to examine it under the light and the magnifier. Um, but yeah, I thought these were really pretty too. This almost reminds me of something like a that Avon would do. And I just think they're gorgeous. And yeah, like I said, Google Lens will probably be my best friend on these. Um, these I fell in love with. These appear to be vintage. Let's see if I can get them to hold right. Look how dainty those are with the little flowers and the beadwork and they were $2.98. Um, I just thought they were gorgeous. The backs don't fit them exactly, but um, I'll see what I can do about getting different backs for them. But I loved how 
how dainty these were. And I'm sure these are vintage as well. And just to keep up with the theme, I got a second pair. <laughs> and the, the flower arrangement is a little bit different, but they were also $2.98. So, you know my love for jewelry. And last piece of jewelry are these enamel hearts. I just thought they were very pretty, um, very feminine, girly girl stuff. Don't see a signed, you know, they're not signed or anything. But again, I'll use Google Lens and see if anything comes up. But they were $1.98. So I loved all of those pieces. Um, man, I'm tempted to keep those cloisonne peacocks. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Got a couple more things. About. It's kind of coppery, bronzy looking and has this really cool belt buckle that's almost like a zebra stripe. And here we go. Oh, hold on. Oh, did it say? Yeah. Let's see if. I don't know if it'll show up. It may not, but let's see. It should show up here. This belt is Chico's and it's a size small and it's genuine. It says genuine split leather top to man-made lining. It got real specific on that one, but um, yeah, it's just one of those that you pop in, you know, you pop in the hole and um, it's in really good shape. The leather looks really good. You can tell that the person who wore it wore it right here in this hole because that hole shows the most wear. It shows some indentations, but it's not cracked. So see, I can bend it and it looks fine. So the indentation is just from wear, uh, just from that person wearing that in this hole. So that's a cool belt, very cool belt. I'm wondering, hang on. Oh yeah, so we can slide it through here. Ooh, okay. So yeah, I like this belt. And it was $2.98. A little high for belts, but with it being pure 100% uh, leather, it should be fine. And even though the lining is man-made, it should work just fine. This is one of the items that I might keep for myself, even though I'm not a confessed fan. But it is, I loved the um, the chief or the Native American subtle head on the background. And then this is all embroidered and that is ironed in or like a graphic. And the contrast stitching, I loved the contrast stitching. So, and then the lined hood, it's an extra large, I think $6.98, that was high for this. I'll look at comps and see, but it also may be something that I keep. So I'm a Steelers fan, but I grew up in a Redskins household. That was dad and my brother's team. Well, I say that was the family team. We rooted for the Redskins. We rooted for Joe Theismann and Rigo, John Riggins. Um, so um, that's just, you know, that was what I grew up with. Now, now I'm a Pittsburgh fan. But deep down in my heart, I do watch my Redskins and um, and cheer them on in uh, in memory of Dad. So, and I'm a huge Taylor Heineke fan. I watched him from the beginning days when he was in college at Old Dominion, and we had season tickets and watching Taylor play every Saturday or almost every Saturday. And now that he's playing for the Redskins, we're just tickled pink about that. All right, let me make sure I got everything. All right. And then the last three items are all the same. They are all new with tags. My favorite bra brand and style. That's the thing. My favorite brand of bra and style of bra is this Cacique bra. So you can kind of see it on the band. And these are the 
no underwire bra and they're you know the cotton ones they're very cottony these might be a little bit big on me um so i'm gonna try it on i'm gonna see what i think and decide do i need it do i sell it i'll check comps also i'll check comps first and see because they were seven dollars a piece which means i would want to be able to sell these for like $21. And I don't know if these sell for $21. It's a, um, it's brand new with tags and it's a 48 double D. So that means that it should, and they're not, woo, it's the cotton no wire comfort solution. I don't know what, I don't know what these sell for. Um, here's, I got one in black. I got one that's new with tags in white. Same one, same exact one. And did anybody leave? No, they did not leave the price tag on it. I have to look it up. And I got the same one in a beige color. So same size, all new with tags. Every single last one of them is new with tags. So yeah, there. That's my haul. <laughs> if you take that sixty-three fifty-three and divide it by fourteen, which is how many items that I got, that comes out to like four dollars and fifty some cents per item. Um, if I take an average cost of goods, and yeah, what do you think of the haul? That was quick and sweet. Like I said, I just wanted to get a video out for Wednesday. And I will do probably a more substantial haul of, oh, the stuff I got at the bins in Virginia Beach. That might have to be a two-parter. But I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season, whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, even if you don't celebrate any of them. I hope that you are having a, you know, wonderful week. I hope the weather's not affecting you too much. I am all too happy to be holed up in my home. I'm happy to be home. I'm sleeping in my own bed. And until the next video, oh, I'm sorry, let me do this. If you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Um, if you're not already subscri subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel and and increase my viewership i think that would be fantastic as i try to grow my little enterprise and until the next video i will say a tout à l'heure see you later editing jen <clears throat> really quick i just wanted to say i did a very quick comp check uh while i was sitting here and um I only checked comps on Poshmark. I didn't look at eBay, which I normally do. I use eBay to check comps. I'm trying to figure out what my hair is doing. Anyway, selling all 14 of these items. I think I can gross $231. In my opinion, that's going on the low end. Some things could sell higher than what I've estimated them at based on comps. Um... <clears throat> I figured fees at Poshmark's rate because Poshmark is the highest, has the highest fees of all the platforms I sell on, Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Poshmark's fees are the highest at 20%. So I think after platform fees, I should clear 184.80. So that is making what I spent on the haul back, the $63, I make that back plus an extra 120. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update so that you know kind of where my brain is at in selling these items. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. A tout à l'heure.